right, I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today I'm doing a special book review from Köln, Germany, in front of the Köln Cathedral. It is so huge. But the book is going to be Shadow Play by Tad Williams, book number two in his Shadow March series. One of my favorite books. I read this on the plane ride over to Amsterdam. And the second time I read it, it was dynamite. I loved every minute of it. So we're going to be doing a special review from Germany of this book. I've got some notes here we're going to talk about. First of all, the cover was done by Todd Lockwood. Now, most of my Tad Williams collection is signed. As you know, he's one of my good author friends. He even blurbed my second book, The Blackest Heart. Um, and uh, let's get to the review. So this is book number two in the Shadow March series. Um, it starts where book number one left off with Beric, Vanson, and a creature named Gear. I think it's, it's G-Y-R. I don't know how you spell it, but he's a faceless, mouthless, noseless creature that can talk psionically to people. And then they are um, on a journey. They've been banished into the Northlands, beyond the uh, Shadow Line. Um, they're being led by a talking bird. It's a raven. It's pretty cool. It's a very atmospheric. Tad Williams' descriptions of the uh, landscape that they're traveling through is just dope. I mean, in the, some of the cathedrals they're going through are like this. Just everything immaculately described. And then we've got the Bryony's chapters, and she is escaping the castle of Shadow of South March with Sasho, the guy that was accused of killing her father, and now she's found out he's innocent, and now they are fleeing the castle. And uh, then we've got a second um, storyline with Quinitan, and one of my favorite characters, the assassin Dia Diakinesis Bo. The assassin that's chasing her. Probably one of the most exciting storylines in any fantasy novel you're ever going to read. Um, and then there's Chert and Opal. I guess they're like the kind of the dwarfs, the little hobbits of the series. And they are still watching over the boy that they found near the shadow line in book one. And then Matt Tinwright uh, and Puzzle the Jester, they're involved in the story too. It's just another great entry into the Shadow March series by Tad Williams. This review is going to be a little shorter than normal because I'm out here in public and everybody is watching me. We've got the Christmas market over here starting. It's huge. It doesn't look huge, but it goes on forever. We've got the Great Castle, Cathedral, 700 feet high. And I'm going to give this 10 out of 10 stars. Tad Williams, one of my favorite writers of all time. Done.